Hey, what's up Facebook? Chris Burfield back with Alex Tesfe, and he is the owner of Cigars and More here in McKinney, Texas. We're about to head into his humidor right now to see his lineup of cigars and what he has to offer. So let's check it out. So show us what you got in here, Alex. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of cigars in the shot in the, in the humidors. So what I wanted to show you today is uh, uh, a cigar that has different sizes, different blends, and different shapes and sizes. Okay. So uh, let me get three different sizes here and shapes or blends. So I'm uh, trying to uh, get all the sizes, blends, and shapes, and uh, different colors. And uh, okay, so as you can see right here, Chris, we have different sizes and different blends of cigars. Okay, so what I'm trying to uh, uh, For you now is yeah I can see it's out there we, yeah I got this real skinny one and what kind what is that called like okay this is this is robusto the size is robusto okay okay this is a skinny long one a little bit longer than the robusto this is called the Corona size. Very skinny. Good cigar. Very good cigar. I mean, you know, uh, uh, Corona is uh, is a very uh, uh, fast burning cigar. Okay, so that one might take like 20 minutes to smoke. Sort of I would say that, but 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. And again, depending how how often the person uh, puff on uh, the cigar. And this is another mild cigar. You see the lighter, the color is usually considered the mild cigar. Okay. So this is a Connecticut wrapper. Connecticut wrapper doesn't mean that it's the tobacco is from Connecticut. The Connecticut wrapper is one of the most silky, creamy wrapper. Gotcha. Uh, so it, when you smoke it, it's like very mild very cigar. mild smooth very smooth and a lot of people smoke this cigar in the morning with coffee okay very good mild cigar so and on the top of that i wanted to show you the different side this is called the box press oh, yeah. which is it's a square not, it's not rounded it's square it's yeah. not rounded so what happened is uh, uh, uh different companies have this kind of shape cigars different families, cigar makers. So what they do is the cigar would be rolled like a regular rolled cigar, and they put it in a pressing machine and they press it. So when you have wow. a squared cigar, the tobacco usually, uh, the, the filler is usually intact. So the, the, uh, the when you uh, smoke a box press cigar, most likely will, uh, will burn even. Okay. Most likely. So that's the advantage of a box press cigar. This is another box press cigar, but this is a medium shaded wrapper right here. It's not dark, it's not light, it's a brownish color. Right. So this is usually uh, a medium body cigar, and uh, a lot of people smoke this cigar. Uh, but this is the most popular cigar for a lot of people because it's not too mild 
it's not too full body mm -hmm. and they can smoke this it's like the goldilocks of cigars it's just right, right? just right exactly <laughs> exactly so that's uh that's another one and this is another cigar that i wanted to show you chris this is a very dark cigar and on the top of that the shape on the top like a torpedo is, yeah it is very pointy and this is this shape is called uh torpedo or bellicoso bellicoso yes so this is uh the reason uh <clears throat> they put this kind of shape cigar is uh you have a lot of different uh, uh options how you want to cut your cigars you know what i mean gotcha it's if you want to get a, a smaller draw of the cigar uh, you can just cut it the very tip and as you go down you get to you know you get a, a bigger draw and uh, you know yeah all that so uh usually this is a a, a a shape that is uh hard to roll and you pay more money just because of that you know what i mean gotcha. there's always a price difference between a torpedo and a regular rolled cigar because the torpedoes are so much harder to kind, roll kind of hard yes. yeah more manual labor going right, into that exactly, right yeah exactly so <clears throat> And uh, the other thing I forgot to tell you about torpedo, you cannot use a punch or or a V cutter on a torpedo shaped cigar. So you have to use a traditional. You have to cut. You cutter. have to cut it. That's it. Gotcha. Yeah. So the uh, the last one that I have is a Churchill size. A Churchill size is you know, you know usually the longer size. The longer size uh, cigar is always uh, a Churchill. I mean there is a. There is a longer than this, but Churchill size is a very most common uh, longer size cigar. Okay. So it is called Churchill when you see a size like this. Gotcha. So long, thick. Long, about 54, 56 ring gauge. Okay. Yeah. What do the ring gauges start at and what do they go? What do they end at? Well, the ring gauge starts from uh, 30, 38 all the way to 80. Okay. Yeah. That's a thick cigar. Yeah, I will show you the thicker cigar on the market right now. Okay. Yeah. You have so, that here? Yeah, yeah, I do. So this is the the different size and different blend of cigar that I showed you so far. So let me uh let me show you some of the the uh, uh the bigger size of cigars on the market. This in here. So I have this cigar right here. Oh, dang. This is a monster right here. <laughs> Look at that thing. Yeah. Wow, what's this it called, is a lunatic? Lunatic, yeah. This is a, a, a cigar, it's eight inch by 80 ring gauge. This is the biggest cigar on the market. Wow, who makes that? And this is made by a company called JFR. So JFR stands for, just for retailers. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so very very popular cigar especially golfers love this cigar how long does it take to smoke something like that? yeah well a couple hours okay yeah a couple hours the, the reason is a lot of golfers love this cigar is because instead of buying two three cigars for a golf course they can just get one cigar and that would last the whole 18 hole. I'm buying one of those before we leave. <laughs> uh, no doubt. That's that's another one. And last but not least, Chris, I wanted to show you another one. This is the 770. So this is the flathead 770. The flathead 770. 770 stands for 7 inch for 70 ring gauge. Okay. Yeah. So this is a cigar, as you can see, very fat cigar, but it's box press is square, as you can see. Yeah, I see that. So, the, like I told you earlier, this is a cigar uh, that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a preference. A lot of people like, like a box press cigar than a, a regular cigar. So this is a cigar that is a square. Gotcha. Yeah. So, so one last thing before we go. Yes. Um, if you were to recommend of your whole lineup in here, what's your favorite cigar right now? 
My personal favorite yeah, cigar. Personal favorite. My personal favorite cigar right now is I I mean I I have a smoked cigar for a long long time. So if you can give me a cigar that is a full body, I will smoke it. Mm -hmm. It could be a two dollar cigar. It could be a $10 cigar, but it has to be a full body, full body. cigar. Because I want to get a lot of flavor out of the cigar. You know what yeah. I mean? How so, long have you been smoking cigars? I've been smoking since I was 14 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. It's a very <laughs> long time. So I want to get, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying, I want to get a, a, a flavor out of it. I, I don't care for a mild cigar, except, you know, every now and then. Yeah. What's your most full-bodied one in here, dude? Right now, the most full-bodied I have is this cigar. Is if this, you can... This one right here? Yeah. Yeah. The Triple Maduro? The Triple Maduro, yeah. This is uh, considered uh, a, a real full-bodied cigar. Yeah. So, uh, you have to wear a helmet to smoke this cigar. <laughs> So, you know what I mean? Just in yeah, case, you know right. what I mean? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> so that is a full body cigar. This is, Chris, here, this is another full body cigar. This is called the Gispert Intenso. Yeah, I mean Intenso right. is intense. Right, as you say, it's, it's in simple. the name, it's in the name that's itself, right. right? That's right, that's right. That's a, that's a full body cigar. I smoked one in here the other day. Actually, it has been my favorite one ever since. The um, Macanudo. The Macanudo. Yeah. yeah. Macanudo. Yeah. Macanudo. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the, bla black, the black. The black. The black label. label. Yes. yes. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll be getting shipment uh, the next couple of days. Yeah, because like, check this out, everybody. Like, the the, the Macanudos are gone. Yeah. So like, and you'll should be getting more of those here soon. By the next couple of days. Oh, yes. fantastic. Yes. I may come in and buy the box from you. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed so, that cigar. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, hey, thanks for showing us around, Alex. I appreciate it. And uh, tell everybody where you're located at real quick and where they can come in and, uh, you know, grab some cigars from you. Yeah, well, we're located uh, uh, 2811 Craig Drive in uh, El Dorado Plaza Shopping Center and two doors down from the Starbucks uh, across the street from Salt Grass Restaurant. And there's Trader Joe's in the Shopping Center, Pier 1. And uh, you cannot miss it. You yeah. cannot miss it. Cigars and more, McKinney, Texas folks, come check them out. Uh, tell them you saw this video on Facebook. That's and then right. Come in and get one of these cigars. I'm like I said, I am definitely taking one of these for the road. So <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.